Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Fonta Cobre with another video, and this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12 GM to an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3. So, as always, stay tuned. iOS 10.3.3, iOS 12 GM. Can I put up both devices? SE is here, as you can see. So, um, till now, the SE never had any problem with iOS 12. I mean, it's a super smooth device compared to the, for, exa for example, iPhone 6. For 6 uh, boots up faster, for example, but wow. So iOS 10 is faster putting up. Okay, the difference was minimal, so I won't really mind that. Both phones here have nothing in the background, so I'm just gonna start a test by entering settings. That was faster on iOS 10, sadly. Gonna just change the wallpaper to the ones that come with the iOS. So wallpaper and choose, just go for stills. That's the one I need here, and that's the one I need there. Just gonna set, set both and leave. That was slightly faster on iOS 10. You guys going for a real speed test, so calendar. Was faster on iOS 12, good stuff, photos. iOS 12, impressive, camera. iOS 10, maps. About the same, iOS 10 was slightly faster, clock. iOS 12, weather. I guess iOS 10, going for stocks. Okay, the newer UI is slightly slower. I'm leaving, going for phone dialer. I'm just gonna type in some numbers. It was faster on iOS 10. Uh, 12, sorry, Safari. I'm just gonna go for Apple here. Leaving, going for App Store. That was, I think, as my 12. Just up there, iTunes Store. iOS 10, leaving. Now, guys, jumping to third party apps. So, I'm gonna start with Geekbench 4 iOS 12, good stuff there, into the benchmark, identical, good stuff, I mean, as long as iOS 12 is as fast as iOS 10, it's good. Okay, Instagram was faster on iOS 10, sadly, there's some difference. Going for a game here, Subway Surfers. Volume bar appeared first on iOS 12, 10, and it was it is ready already. Leaving, going for Temperant 2. And again, loading page appeared first on iOS 10. The iOS 12 seems to be trying to catch up, nope. Difference is not big though. Mario Run, a third game here. Okay, Super Mario appeared first on iOS 10. Difference is not big, for example, but there is some difference, I guess. No, 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 actually, iOS 12 will catch up, good stuff there, Google Earth. And that was slightly faster on iOS 10, let's say, so the row, YouTube. It was about the same, Jetpack Joyride. Seems to be identical, I hope. And nope, there is some, the difference is minimal, guys. If you upgrade from iOS 10 to 12 all the way, you won't really feel it. Going for Yelp. Yeah, at least for that, I'm gonna see here. Okay, that was faster on iOS 12, good stuff, eBay. And identical, definitely about the same. Going for Snapchat, that was faster on iOS 12. Right now, guys, going for some multitasking, so we're gonna start from the very end as you guys recommended. So, Snapchat, eBay, Yelp, Jetpack Joyride, YouTube, Google Earth, Mario Run, Temperan 2, Subway Surfers, Instagram. Okay, so. Instagram had to refresh on iOS 12, Geekbench 4. I don't really consider Geekbench uh, onto the benchmark because it always refreshes, so I won't count that. iTunes, App Store, Solid, Safari, Phone, Stocks. I guess so iOS 12 is not refreshing stock apps like it used to be to do with betas. Weather, nice. Clock, nice. Maps. Okay, maps to refresh on iOS 12, photos, a refresh on iOS 12, calendar, again, a refresh on iOS 12. Maybe that was just flashing or something on iOS 12, but it had to do something, settings. So guys, just the last three, four apps had to refresh on iOS 12, so maybe Instagram too. So iOS 10 is slightly faster, with the, better with that management though. I mean, iOS 12 is still not bad at all. Just before going further, I wanna say that this phone has a perfect battery or just 1% wear level where this phone has a 13% wear level. So there is some difference, just bear that in mind. You guys, I'm going for an, a Geekbench 4 test. 
All right, guys, both phones are done here. So um, definitely better scores on iOS 12. Good stuff there. So as you can see, single core is better and multi-core score as well. Previous core from the previous Piera. So um, just showing it, the score is about the same. So just slightly dropped in single core, multi-core is slightly higher. So scores are about the same. Though I'm really impressed with the multi-core score on iOS 12. It's better than iOS 10. There's a difference actually. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison. I want to say that the CPU is actually really good. It's about the same speed though. Yeah, sometimes uh, iOS 10 was faster. With stock apps, iOS 12 was definitely faster than iOS 10. That's good there. Um, RAM management was decent on both. iOS 10 was perfect. iOS 12 had to refresh two or three apps. Battery wise, guys, the, the iOS 12 phone has a higher wear level, so it's not fair to actually decide which one's better. But later with the iPhone 6s, I will be doing the test tomorrow, and these two phones are perfect then, so you can actually tell what battery life. But it looks really good. I mean, battery on iOS 12 is better than iOS 11 for sure. So it's somewhere between 11 and 10 and it's closer to 10 than 11 when it comes to battery so it's actually really good so if you guys like the video subscribe for more content peace out